hi there you guys Capricorn welcome to your weekly psychic tarot and oracle card reading cross watcher energies are interchangeable but only take those portions that are resonating with you this is a general reading so remember to check your rising and moon and Venus for a more complete picture my readings they do meld together and there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below and it can help you out with these style of readings Capricorn, I'd like to thank you so much for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes, they really help me out a lot. Thank you. Now today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and one Divine Feather message. And now here's your first card, Capricorn. The Wheel of Fortune. This is the basis of the matter. It's the subject at hand. It's something that's already beginning to flow into the past. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a fire energy card. It's ruled by Jupiter. This could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. This card is balanced out by the four fixed signs. Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. They're the guides that lead us on to the next phase of our life. This has to do with chance, and fate, and karma, destiny. It's an unexpected turn of luck, a change of fortune for the better. It's a new chapter starting. There's elevation and expansion. Things never stay in the same, and events are going to turn around. It is now beyond your control. It has to do with cycles cause and effect, karma, luck and expansion. You might feel like you're lucky or being on a roll. You could be becoming aware of cycles or patterns. This can be a surprise, a gift, that goes beyond reason or logic. This is a new phase. It may be a need to make an important decision or it could even be a totally unexpected circumstance developing and it will change your life. But destiny has been set into motion, and all will turn out as it is intended. There is now very little you can do except to go with the flow. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. This could be bringing in some tension. It could be an obstacle to your forward progress. A challenge. This could be something you're aware of or not aware of. The Ten of Wands, fire energy. This is Saturn in Sagittarius. A card of feeling burdened or overworked and not asking for help. That could block progress. There's a lot riding on you. It could be a responsibility. You feel like it might be wearing you down. It's something you cannot let go of. You've been working hard, and this is a problem that is soon to be solved. Maybe you're feeling weighed down. Tens are about beginnings and endings, and that's two tens right next to each other, which represent change. This could even be a workaholic, and they labor under their overcommitments. It's being weary and determined and overworked. It's shouldering burdens and taking on too many responsibilities. It's testing your limits and toughing it out. You might want to keep going because you've come too far to let things drop. And if you don't ask for help, then it's up to you to carry the load. The Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Wands is a turn for the better. Its burdens are relieved by good fortune coming. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Capricorn. The Eight of Cups. Water energy. This is Saturn in Pisces. Another card of Saturn. Saturn always brings in delays and restrictions, especially if we're not responding to our responsibilities. Which looks like you've got some responsibilities with the Ten of Wands. And now you feel like walking away from it because you're not emotionally fulfilled. 
It's the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. It's moving forward, moving on. Travel, even by land. It's a shift in life from being involved and doing things with others, and now you need some quiet time and a chance to be alone. This is following your dream. And someone may be close to losing all hope in a romance. Maybe they've done everything they could, and now they feel like walking away from it. It can also mean there's affectionate person surrounding you. This shows the moon in both its full and waning quarters, and it looks on, and it signifies the end of something and the beginning of something new. It indicates leaving the past behind, and even though the cups may be full, they are no longer satisfying, because something is missing. It's okay to start searching, but be aware of the card's warning about the kind of restlessness that strides on too hastily, missing the very goal, the cups. This is going with the flow, and following the flow of energy not only takes the least effort, but it also achieves the best results. And this is an emotional turning point, and there is a better future, just around the corner. The Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Cups is walking away from a repeating cycle that was emotionally unfulfilling. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future, it's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number 18 of the Major Arcana, the Moon, Water Energy. This could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Those are Yods, hanging around under the Moon there, represent Divine Influence. There could be some fears linked to that, as there's 15 Yods, linking it back to the Devil. This has to do with some imagination, insecurity, it could have to do with illusions. It's being in the dark. And there may feel like there's unforeseen perils and even deception. There's something you're not meant to see yet. And now this is exploring the inner unknown. It also represents sleep and dreams and fantasies. Fears. Deep fears. And we can never name them, for they come from deep within ourselves. They never entirely surface, and they will always sink back again if we accept this strange side of us. The moon will calm as well as arouse. These are feelings and responses to these feelings, being moody, facing emotional tests. There's changeability here, dreams, imagination. It's being creative, empathetic emotional, artistic, easily influenced, moody and misunderstood. You could be experiencing fluctuations or delving into emotions. But you're only seeing half of the information, and you're discovering that not everything is as it seems, but this is the end of a major cycle. But things are still changing. These can be mutable or dreamy qualities in a relationship romance, and communion of the souls. This is a metamorphosis within the self, and it's a time to look inward and examine personality traits, because change is possible from deep within. This can also be qualities of others that are masked for good or bad. It's a need to examine contracts and projects for hidden meanings behind that written or spoken words. And there's a heightened sense of awareness. And it's a time to work with the moon's energy. It's your emotional nature and confronting fear based on a past experience. The Wheel of Fortune with the moon card is excessive high pressure in hopes of making small improvements. It's karmic restrictions. It can be instability. There may be a falsehood. It can also represent passive income. Your fifth card it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Capricorn. The Nine of Wands, Fire Energy. This is Moon in Sagittarius. That's 
A lot of moon energies here. And this person is defensive. They've put boundaries up. They've done a lot already. This has to do with strength and determination. This person is solitary and suspicious, and they're on guard. They're feeling tired, yet they're persevering. This is strength to overcome troubles. It's strength when you confront difficulties. And another card that tells us it's the end of a cycle. And now there's strength in waiting and never giving up. It's strength through courage and endurance. And then it's the pause and the struggle. And it's being prepared. Someone may be blocking someone. They've put their boundaries up. And there is an eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. And someone in a relationship may continue to fight, even where the other person wishes to surrender. But through effort and determination, you've protected what's yours, and you've shown courage under fire and stood your ground. And now this is a card of recovery and being in a strong position. And this is a test of faith. Maybe you know what to expect. You're looking over your shoulder. This could have to do with a battle that you're fighting. You have your defenses up to protect yourself. Because that's maybe why you know what to expect. And it could be that many times people react differently and then they'll surprise us. So be wary of a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you expect the worst, then that's what you will end up getting. Everyone, or everyone makes choices, and you have still have strength and reserve, and you're in a very strong position, and this is victory through courage and endurance, and you're hanging in there. Do not give up. This is the final push, and you can see the goal, and if you just hold out, then you win. The Ten of Wands are the uh, Wheel of Fortune, with the Nine of Wands is never giving up on making your life better. It's a lifting of oppression. It's courage in a new chapter. And it's flowing with what is instead of resisting patterns, patterns that we have created for ourselves. The Ten of Wands with the Eight of Cups is working hard to make your dreams come true. And it's leaving behind manipulative people or unsentimental, unproductive attachments that prevent you from success. The Ten of Wands with the Moon card is burdens with a secret. And try not to make other people's problems your own. It's coming to light in your own way, and someone may be feeling disturbed mentally. The Ten of Wands with the Nine of Wands is pushed to the limit. It could be at work. It's determination to finish. You could be expecting too much from yourself and you've been putting up boundaries. And the Eight of Cups with the Moon card is going after a new dream. This can be a new, fantastic experience. This is an emotional river, and hopefully going after that new thing, and hoping it's, that it's not an illusion. Someone could be hiding feelings, or even finding their flow. The Eight of Cups with the Nine of Wands is following your dreams with determination and perseverance, it's protecting your dream or a secret. The moon with the nine of wands is fears and being wary and suspicious of what is unknown. And now, here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number 40, co-create, Capricorn. Card number 40, co-create. Creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, and manifestation. The moon also has a lot to do with creative energies. You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact you are creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions, and actions. Yet you must consider that you do so, so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God, or whatever name you call your higher power. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush brush that 
co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration, and now you are aligned with it to create miracles. And when you view your life as art, and know that you co-create it, only beauty and grace result. So prepare to be amazed. And here's your relationship message. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror, held up by this experience, and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this ex extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, and the very embodiment of beauty. Here's the prosperity message. Flashes of inspiration give rise to great success when you receive this message. You are at your most creative now, and whatever you apply yourself to will lead to fruition of your dreams. Remember that all your ideas are channeled from a higher source. You create your reality in partnership with spirit. The potential for manifestation is unlimited now. Revel in its vastness. Exciting, Capricorn. And now here's your Divine Feather message by Allison Di Nicola. And this is the feather of Falcon, Capricorn. Use your keen perception and skill in making decisions. Do not delay. Falcon. Closely tied to the Egyptian god Horus, who is known as possessing all, the all-seeing eye, Falcon directs awareness to the third eye chakra, or the place of seeing and vision. Vikings, among others, often used falcon and other birds of prey for hunting. This type of hunting and detection, commonly called falconry, was used in many ancient civilizations, trying this messenger to pass, tying this messenger to pass lives. There are many types of falcons, and they all have been have keen vision, great speed, and amazing perception, allowing them to dive quickly and use their skills for fullest advantage. And the feather message is, the falcon messenger has swooped in to show you that you indeed have the skills, perception, and ability to attain the prize. What have you been seeking? Do you have a clear picture of your target? Whether this is an ongoing quest or a new opportunity, you are being urged to hone your senses and take the leap without further delay. A sharp perception is, and an unwavering focus will assist you as you do. This may require you to move in a faster way than you might be accustomed to doing. Feel the power, skill, and excitement of Falcon supporting you as you take flight. And the energies are power, perception, and empowerment. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.